back to the weekly tip. Hey, you know, one thing that, that we don't spend enough time on, at least I don't spend enough time, is the budget stuff. Really working on how to get the budget stuff. I think too often we think if we hear a dollar figure or figure or we hear something to do with money or I have a budget for this, the budget stuff is done. But in reality, I want you to think about the budget stuff and cover it a little differently. It's not just how much they have to spend on your product or service, but I want you to think of how much it's costing them. Right? And that's called pain. So if you can't get what it's costing them not using your product or service, you probably haven't gotten pain. Even if they tell you we have a budget of X to fix this, did you really find what it's costing them? Because lots of times, myself included, I hear we have a budget to fix this, or we have a budget to buy this, or we have a budget for this, and my product or service fits within that budget. I'm thinking that step is over. It's not over. What I want to get back to is, yeah, but what's it costing you? Now, here's the other thing I want you to think about budget. It's not just about dollars. What will it cost you to get rid of your old vendor? What will it cost you, not just dollar-wise, to have that conversation with your old vendor? What will it cost you to change how you're currently operating things? And that probably doesn't have to do with money. Sometimes it might be how many full-time employees will it cost you? Right? So I want you to think about budget more than just dollar-wise. Do you find all the, the, the areas of budget? What it's costing them to do things the way they're doing it now? What will it cost them to change the production, the service, whatever, if they use your service or product? What will it cost their relationships with others when they start using you as, yourself as opposed to an end user? All right, so remember, budget is more than money.